Okay, so don't mind the video being sideways right now. It's not going to be like that for long. But these are the ingredients you're going to need. So, yeah, just uh, have fun watching this ratchet video. Okay, so I'm going to turn the dial to, like, you know, that heat. And, yeah, to get it hot. Okay. Going to need some canola oil, canola oil, whatever you call it. I'm going to pour it in. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna just pour all of it in because why not? I don't even got a lot. Pour all that, get every drip. So yeah, that wasn't enough for me. So now I got some olive oil and it's a different color because you know olive oil and canola oil. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna need some sugar and flour. And okay, so <laughs> it was too much recording. You know, I need some eggs. I use cool eggs. All that's in the bowl. All that is and some vanilla extract. That's all in the bowl gonna record it we're just gonna pretend that i just poured it all in but it's all in the bowl cool okay so now you're gonna need some salt a little pinch of salt that's my pinch um i'm just i guess opening the sugar i don't know see i've recorded this before so but yeah i finally set the camera down it has some sense and we're gonna do some tablespoons of sugar into the bowl it looks like I'm doing, that was one, that's two. We're going for number three. And then we're going to go for number four. Boom. So then, you pour that all into the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour a little tablespoon of water into the bowl. We're just going to pretend. Some baking soda, powder, whatever, into the bowl. Mix, 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 mix. So yeah, we're just gonna mix it all into there, you know. Just get all the little clumps out because you don't want no clumps. You don't want, you know, white stuff. Don't nobody want to be eating no like unmixed dough or whatever the case is. You just want to mix all that up. And you know, see, I'm like a, I'm like a black, uh, what is it, Betty, Betty Crocker, like out here. Like I'm really doing it. I'm really doing it. I'm over here making. Funnel cakes, like, is your girl making funnel cakes? No. Is your girl doing anything? No. Your girl probably only knows how to make noodles, boiled noodles, if even that. Cause they probably too mushy or the noodles still be hard. So yeah, I mixed it up real good. See, all the little white clumps and stuff like that is out, boom. Okay, so now you're gonna get some flour because you need flour. When you make something scratch, you need flour so i'm gonna just pour that little thing in you're gonna need like half a cup of flour but see when you black you just judge it by your eyes so i just pour it on in into the bowl boom so there's that so then we're gonna mix in a flour again you don't need to have no good old expensive mixer that the, you know, the, the white people buy or the bougie black people buy because they think they know how to cook or they want to be a professional chef. I mean, that's cool and all, but you know, I don't have all that. And I'm pretty much, my hands work good. So I don't need all that. You're just going to mix that up. And I use a plastic spoon because that's what I have at the house. And it could be any type of spoon or it could be a fork, a knife. It don't even matter. As long as all that is mixed in real good, your wrist work is good. Your hand work is good. And everything should be good. There shouldn't be no lumps, no clumps, all in your mix. And we're going to keep stirring that thing. I'm going to keep stirring it, keep stirring it. Mind you, my hand don't hurt because, you know, like I said, I'm good with my hands. So, there. Yeah. So now we got all the mix done. I'm gonna put that near the oil because you know, if it's near the oil, it's easier to pour it in. So I'm gonna just do a little few last minute mixings. Boom, bang, boom, and there we go. And now we're gonna get ready to put it in. I'm testing out the oil. You know, black people, you know, we gotta, that's how we test out the oil. I don't know how any other people test out the oil. That's how my mama did it. Pour water in the oil, it's good, boom. Okay, so don't mind how it look. It look crazy, but that's my funnel cake. Now, that's my funnel cake when it's cooked for a little good, like three more minutes. You know, I don't know what shade that is, like a little kidney, I don't know, but it's good. It's fine, it's fine. So, I just pour a little powdered sugar over that thing, you know, because how can you make a funnel cake without powdered sugar? It's not gonna work. So, I pour a little powdered sugar over the bread, and so, 
that's how you make a funnel cake. It's not the exact size mm -hmm. and shape it's supposed to be, but it's gonna still taste like one because at the end of the day, a funnel cake is just bread and sugar on top. 